guys welcome back to the my maverick channel but i woke up so scared today i mean so i flip up my computer and so there's this platform called pancake bunny it's a yield farming automated market maker platform that's on the binance chain that runs on the binance chain so if you don't know the binance chain is sort of it's an ecosystem that's mirroring what ethereum is doing but doing it better right now in the sense that there's low fees and it's much faster than the ethereum network and it uses proof of stake and it's interoperable with other tokens and ecosystems so you can have bitcoin there you can have ethereum xrp there so maybe i should do a video covering more in-depth analysis of the binance chain so on the binance chain you can do what they call yield farming you can you can place liquidity with their token. You can also place liquidity with other tokens like the Pancake Swap token, which is the Cake token. Pancake Swap is another platform, yield farming, decentralized exchange platform on the Binance chain, which has also gained, which was the first to actually gain major traction on the Binance, Binance ecosystem. So what Pancake Bunny is, what that platform is, basically it allows someone to provide liquidity on the someone that has provided liquidity on the pancake swap project because when you provide liquidity you get liquidity tokens which are called lp tokens which you can then use to yield farm on pancake swap or what you can do is that you can take those same tokens and use them to yield farm on the pancake bunny platform so when you do that on the pancake bunny platform you not only get the incentive of the cake token from the pancake swap but you also get another incentive of the of the pancake bunny token as well so you you're getting double-sided incentives by providing liquidity on the pancake bunny platform so i'm providing liquidity onto this platform so i woke up today and i'm trying i'm seeing i don't own their token but i i last saw this token at the peak of the bull run it was at 500 dollars, and i wake up um, i wake up and i'm seeing it at 6.5 dollars. i'm like what is going on it was suspicious so i'm like so i go into the twitter and i'm seeing people you know people panicking they're like oh it has been rug pulled and then i try to go to their telegram and i can't access their telegram they've they've blocked it so i'm so scared um you know i can't with then i i go back to the platform to try and withdraw my money i can't do that i can't do anything you can't even deposit so i'm scared out of my mind and then finally i managed to access their discord channel and everyone is panicking pancake bunny has rug pulled what a rug pull is is essentially you have a decentralized platform so you have different people providing liquidity on these decentralized platforms so what a rug pull is they get their token that they use as a governance or utility token on their platform and they just dump that stuff onto the market which collapses the price and at times they can also just um close off this the the contracts that are running in the background in that in on that platform and they steal people's liquidity and then trade it out into the token so basically you're left with nothing the platform has disappeared the social media channels have disappeared everything has disappeared so there were articles so it, there was this wave of panic and the token price so what happened this was the problem the the platform is still legit and i think when pancake bunny emerges out of this it will be stronger than ever so what actually happened is something that's referred to as flash loan attack and you can see this tweet here our project has suffered a flash loan attack from an outside exploiter we'll be posting a mortem a post-mortem in-depth analysis but for the time being would like to update the community as to how this happened so they go on to explain how the hacker used the pancake swap platform that i talked about before to borrow a huge amount of binance tokens which are the bnb tokens and they took a loan and then they were able to to they borrowed a big chunk of binance tokens worth millions of dollars and then they were able to convert these tokens into the pancake bunny token and then they were then they dumped those cake tokens onto the market so it's something i'd seen before it's a flash loan so some of the dangers of decentralized platforms one of them is the rug pool where the the founders of that platform basically dump their tokens onto the onto that platform and also escape with the liquidity lp tokens of the users and then another one is this um this flash loan attack this one is normally done by an outsider so the other thing is when this happened it 
that attacker caused the price of the token to go down so and i was in this panic mode but then as i was as i was reading up on the updates of the pancake you know of the pancake bunny team and what they were updating i realized that i think they didn't do anything i mean it's this outside attacker that did this so the platform itself might still be stable there's actually a team in the background because we don't know who the team are so i went back and did research and i found that these people were funded before by the binance ecosystem so the binance people must know who the team is so there's no way they could do like a rug pull on the people and then so what i'm trying to say is such such occurrences can present huge opportunities so for example if you're out there and you had a bunch of money saved up say a hundred dollars you're like okay this platform's token has gone down because there's been an attack but from the news that i'm saying from the actual that i'm seeing from the actual platform it seems it's still intact and they're trying to do everything they can to bring it back right so you can use that as an opportunity to buy up that token because you see the news surrounding it is bad but in the background everything is still okay so that could be a very great opportunity to actually buy up that token while it's still cheap and things are still shaky such that as the dust settles the price goes back up and then you can make some good money off it or even if you don't sell you can have those tokens and you can use them to liquid farm as you can see i placed on the screen you can liquid farm on the platform and all that so anyway guys i'm going to post links to their twitter page so go read about it a bit more if you want you can do a bit more research on what rug pulls are on what flash loan attacks are so these are some of the dangers that you can face within de the decentralized ecosystem so i just wanted to bring this short one to you guys to um yeah to to educate you to educate myself to learn more it was uh, a scary thing that happened to be a part of it but you know if you're a part of it you learn and then you learn to even it's go in my opinion, it's, as I've said before, if Pancake Bunny, the platform, manages to, to get out of this victoriously in a very, very nice way, clean way, its trust within the community is going to multiply tenfold. And what the attacker did may have seemed to negatively affect the platform. It's actually indeed going to very much positively affect the platform. They're going to come out stronger than ever because, you know, the community is going to trust that these people know what they're doing and these people aren't going to run away with anyone's with anyone's funds any anytime soon and they're going they're not going to do anything they're not going to get out of their way to do anything nefarious guys thank you for watching thank you for staying this long please don't forget to like and subscribe peace i appreciate all the subscribers i truly 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 appreciate all the 113 people that have subscribed to my channel it means the world to me it means the world to me it, it has taken a lot of hard work it might it might seem like there's a few subscribers but it, it for me it's a million subscribers to me so thank you for watching thank you for being here take care guys have a good one